Stop Mining Tar Sands, Canada's Climate Crime. That was the t-shirt and helmet worn by F1 race car driver Sebastian Vettel this past weekend at the Montreal Grand Prix in what may be the single most outrageous case of political hypocrisy I have ever seen. This is a man who, for a living, flies around the world to drive high-performance internal combustion engine cars in a circle, presumably the most superficial burning of fossil fuels known to man. In fact, this guy alone is probably responsible for more carbon emissions than almost any other individual on the planet. And that, if you can believe it, is just the tip of the hypocrisy iceberg. It turns out one of Vettel's major sponsors is actually Saudi Aramco, the largest oil company in the world and literally the largest CO2 producer in global history. It also just happens to be 98% owned by the dictatorial regime of Saudi Arabia. You know that country that represses women's rights, murders journalists and has in the past done a little thing called sponsoring terrorism. So let's recap here. Sebastian Vettel has made and continues to make tens of millions of dollars by driving in circles burning fossil fuels for everyone's entertainment. Part of which is paid for by his sponsors which includes the world's largest oil company Saudi Aramco. He has then used his endowed celebrity not to question say the human rights record of his main sponsor but to attack the oil industry of Canada the country of which he is currently a guest. This at a time when world's oil markets are reeling and drivers are paying more than 220 a liter to fill up their tanks because the West as a collective has become so dependent on countries like Russia and in fact Saudi Arabia to supply our energy needs. The truth is, of course, that Canada is the most ethical provider of energy in the world and that the world will continue to need and demand energy for decades to come. So maybe the next time Sebastian is gassing up his 1000 horsepower Aston Martin which gets about 6 miles to the gallon, he should ask himself where he thinks that gasoline should come from. Should it come from countries like Russia, Saudi Arabia? or should it come from countries like right here in Canada?